guys, the chef's girl here and we're Chef Rigo and we're on our way to the Vic Market to go buy a nice piece of ribeye. In today's vlog, we're going to show you how to cook a steak that you can easily make in your own kitchen. We love buying all of our meat and produce at the Vic Market because it's always super fresh. But let's be honest, the real reason we like going there, well I like going there, is for the hot jam donuts. We're here, so let's go take a look. Basta. All right, happy with this place? Look at that. Love it. Can we get some, please? All right, I'll let you get some truffle if you let me get some donuts. Okay. Oh, good everything. Happy? He's not happy because I accidentally pushed him into a hole. So we'll see you in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen, so let's get Chef Frigo to show us what we need to make a delicious, succulent, juicy ribeye steak. We're just gonna make a, a steak, okay? It's not just a steak, it's a ribeye steak. It's my favorite cut. Don't put so, it down like that. That's a ribeye, grass-fed ribeye. When you choose the ribeye, I like to have a little bit of fat here, because especially this part, it's super tasty, super tender. Yeah, these are around the... Uh, one kilo should be enough for us. I hope so. Chipperigo, are you ready? Right, more bus. When we cook a piece of steak like this size, I like to have it out of the fridge for half an hour, one hour. So it's a kind of room temperature. So it cooks better and takes less to cook. Heavy, season it. Salt. It's salt, all sides. pepper. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil on top. Just like that. Yeah. And you can serve the steak with any size that you like. You can use fries, vegetables. I wanted to have mashed potato, but we're having cauliflower instead. Let's have a look at it. We've just got our cauliflower roasted in the oven now, so it'll be ready to serve with our ribeye steak. The reason why this is my favourite cut of meat is because it's a little bit more fat compared to a lean fillet, and so it gives a lot more flavour and it's a lot juicier, and it's got a really great texture. Wow! Look at this new present! It's a beautiful pot. Pan, 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 sorry, pan. Alrighty, let's get this fried up. Olive oil into the pan. Now the oil is at the right temperature, so we can put the ribeye in the pan. Now we have to make sure that the pan is wide enough for the piece of meat, because if the pan's too small, it'll reduce in temperature, and the ribeye won't have a nice crust at the end. And how long are you gonna let that cook for? Uh, no, no, there's no time here, no time, no. The recipe, what the hell with your eyes? So we have to go by instinct. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Now has cooked on one side and we flip it. When we flip it, we do it only once. We don't keep going flipping a bit. Okay. So I really puke the heat a little bit. What we're gonna do now, before to put it in the oven, we put a clove of garlic in Kamicha, so with the skin on, and a nice rosemary, and we add uh, the butter. Creates a nice sauce uh, and as well uh, has to make a nice, to give a nice taste to it. Beautiful. Top part doesn't get dry and get juicy and tasty. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven. We're gonna cook it for around five minutes. Five minutes, 180 degrees. Okay, so now it's ready to take out of the oven. We want to undercook it. A little bit like we don't want it ready to go now because it has to rest for around five eight minutes so we're gonna put it on a rock like that it's gonna stay there and rest does it keep cooking yeah it keeps cooking inside check the temperature you just touch it and you see how firm it is of course this part is gonna be a little bit 
more cooked than this side because close to the bone it's always a, a little bit more rare than the other side. To check the meat, like if you do like that and you touch this side, it's like rare, medium rare, medium, well done. Look what mommy bought you from the market. I bought you a box. While the ribeye is rest, we're going to make our wine sauce. And today we've used Shiraz by Bougie Wines to make our wine sauce. And we need to thicken it up. It will take a couple of minutes. Five is up and we're ready to continue with our piece of ribeye. We can now start to slice our ribeye. Check if it's ready. Oh, Beautiful. lovely. See, nice uh, mini wrap. Children, what are we doing there? Now, we're cutting now. Looks fantastic. The way you like it. What would you have cooked it less? Definitely. <laughs> but I know you like it uh, medium, medium, right? I think mean, it's better. So. Oh, Chevy, which is plenty nice with you. And now I'm going to put the mild salt. It's like a flake salt. Sauce, you can see it's thickened up a lot. So that's the thickness we want. We don't want it too thick because, anyway, on the meat, I don't like it thick. I'm just put it here. Our piacimento. <laughs> We're going to add as much as we want to our beautiful plate of ribeye. Ce la beviamo con un bel bicchiere di vino. We're going to have a beautiful glass of wine. A little bit. Yeah, I know. I'm a bit lightweight. Yeah, you can have that piece. Hey, you got to make the plate. That's the response I want to know. 